Hi, this is Dave, Feld Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. And in this one, the scenario is your friend has planned a route for you. Um, told you it's fine, it's all on paths and tracks, and there should be no problem. So you look at it, and something doesn't seem right. Something makes you question their map reading skills. So let's have a think about the route that they've planned. So we're going to start at start finish, obviously, and the route from there to checkpoint one goes along this orange dotted line. You see that? that orange actually a dash rather than a dot. See it there? Now that is a permissive footpath. It's not a public right of way that we've got a legal right to be on all year round. It's a permissive footpath, meaning that the landowner has agreed to allow access over their land. So we can follow that to one and we can follow that up through to Dale Head. And at that point, the path becomes a green dashed line, which is a public footpath. Again, a public right of way. We've got a legal right to be on that. That's fine. We we'll follow that to this point here. And you see this thick sort of highlighted line here. This is the boundary of open access land. So once we're in access land, we can go wherever we want to. We don't have to stick on public rights of way. But the planned route sticks on that here. And at this point, it joins this chapel gate track, which is actually a byway, byway open to all traffic, which means that motorised vehicles can go on it. And that takes us up to checkpoint two, which is fine. Checkpoint two to three, the path leaves a public right of way, or the, uh, the route leaves a public right of way and follows this little pecked black line, which is a path, a known path on the ground. But because we're in access land, we can follow that. We're perfectly all right to do that on foot. We've got to avoid this black dotted line because this is just a district or parish boundary. That can be confusing. And uh, we get to three, and this is where the problem occurs because your friend has planned to go from three, turn short right on this track down to one, following this bull black line, which is the symbol on the, the Ordnance Survey 1 to 25,000. That is a symbol for a track, but it's also the symbol for a railway tunnel. You can see here this black line is a railway line going through this cutting. Finishing there, so the, the railway doesn't come to a, a halt, it actually continues under the hillside under this black double dash line. So, if you ran trying to follow that, you wouldn't be following a, a track, you'd just be following open countryside, and the track would be, I don't know, 100 meters below ground. You could go down the hillside there, even if there was no track there, and at that point, there you'd be going back into or you'd be leaving the access land and getting back into farmed land. Legally you'd be expected to follow the permissive path back down there but your friend has planned straight across so if you tried to do that you'd actually be trespassing across this bit you'd have to climb a wall there and trespass through these fields. Once you got back to one it's retracing steps along the permissive path and back. So that was the bit that they got wrong there, confusing the symbol for a track and the symbol for a railway tunnel. To be honest, I don't know why Ordnance Survey put that symbol on there. Um, it's no use to us as runners or walkers or mountain bikers. Um, if anything, it just confuses things and makes you more likely to make a mistake. So the tip is know your symbols, know where you can and can't go, um, either on foot or running. Um, and there's different rules and regulations for being in motorised vehicles or on um, bikes. So that was the answer to that. Hope you got it right. Look out for more of these navigation challenges. Thanks for watching.